This is a quick build guide and we're going to be mounting our ESCs on the um, frame. What I have been using for quite a while now is uh, Q-Brain. They call it a Q-Brain, the ESC. And, and actually, this, all four ESCs are in this one unit. Um, I've flown it. Uh, we're in North Texas, and uh, I've flown it this last summer, or not flown it, quite a few of them. In the in some pretty hot weather, it was 102, 103, 104 degree weather we had, and they do get very hot in that kind of weather. Uh, but I've never had a failure, so uh, you know, so far it's done really, really well. You know, and when it's uh, you know 95 on down, which is uh, pretty hot to a lot of people, um, it runs you know warm, and that's about it. So I've had really good luck with it. Anyway, we're going to mount it. Now, if you're mounting just, uh, you know, standard uh, ESCs, you know, it, it's like any uh, quad or tri that you're going to build. You can put them on the arms. You can, you know, mount them anywhere on, on the deck you wanted. You could, actually, you can mount them underneath the deck if you wanted to. Um, when I run separate ESCs, I mount them here and, and you have enough room, I, I, I've always had enough room anyway with this is that I put you know all four of them side by side and when the, the deck goes on they're completely covered, makes a really really nice job. We're going to put this one in here. Um, now the power on these, you know power if you're using a KK board, the number one motor has to, uh, you know, is furnishing the power there to the board. Um, the power is on number three on the Q-Brain. Now you could take them out and switch it over to you know number one and do it that way. But what I do, and because they lay out well, I'm going to use three as number one motor, which this is one, two, three, and four. Um, and I'm going to use number three as number one, number two as number two, number one on the ESC, is number three motor and number four on the ESC is number four motor and uh, by doing that I can use the number three um, control with the power on it for my number one motor and for my number one on my board it works really good that way and it lays out really well like this I use velcro to put it on and let's go ahead and do that And I'm gonna center this up in here, clean this off a little bit. Center it up as best I can. Put it down. And I'm gonna put a piece of Velcro on the SC. These work really, really good. So far it's been they're very responsive and, and I really like them. I guess until the day one of them fails, then a whole different story. <laughs> That's usually the way it works. Okay, we have this turned this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount this. And Everything comes done on this, and that's nice. Now the wires, I mean, the wires are long, and that's good if you need them. The, you know, so um, that works out real well. Now, the only thing I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and put my um, solder on my connector for my battery connector, and I'll do that, and uh, we're ready to go with that. What I've done with these, because I use these over and over, if you've watched any of the other videos, you'll hear me say that a few times. I use these on, you know, I move them from quad to quad, or I'll put longer arms or whatever. So I very rarely cut these wires. I just curl them up in here, and we'll see how that's done later. Anyway, it's done. Next video, we'll be putting on the motors and mounting the deck. Thank you very much. See you then.